Hey, Kevin here, top one to financial advisor, two-time author, one-time bestseller, and we are here to talk about the stock market. Today, I want to revisit which one of these stocks would be best for your money right now, Walmart, Dollar General, or Costco. Now, the reason why I'm bringing this up now is because it's been about a year since the virus really took hold of the stock market. If you remember and you go back and actually, we talked about it yesterday, February 25th or so, one of the worst drops that we had that was on Twitter, $1.7 trillion lost like that in a day. And then the 23rd, we had a, a significant movement. And then a few days after that, we had significant movement. And if you go back, I don't know if they're going to come up in my Facebook memories or not. I hope so. Uh, if you go back and look at those videos, you'll see that there were three stocks I was primarily talking about as places to put your money. I was talking about defensive stocks. Those stocks, the most often mentioned were Costco, Walmart, Dollar General. I think I got most... Uh, most enamored with Costco just because the, the most fun to say. However, I actually have held Walmart for the longest. When we got married, my wife and I got married, we actually bought Walmart as our first stock. So we've had it since about 2015. So it's been around for a while. But the key word and key question that we want to answer is, between these three, which one do we think is going to have the brightest future from this point forward? Because the pandemic, as bad as it is still to this day, we do have a new administration that's a little more focused on how they're going to do things. At least that's what we've been told. We know that they there are at least three vaccines and perhaps more on the way. So there, there's light at the end of the tunnel. This time last year, did not have that. We didn't even know what exactly this thing was. And if you go back, you know, go back, check your old statuses, go back, check your Instagram around this time. You know, things were being canceled left and right. The NBA was, was not banned, but it was postponed for a bit. I mean, we didn't know what was going on. It was why toilet paper was hard to find. Um, all the cleaning supplies, bleach, wipes, all that stuff was super hard to find around this time at the end of February. This is one reason why Costco, Dollar General, and Walmart were great places to invest your money. How, however, right now, it ain't looking good for any of these companies, and it's, it's still very, very early. We're not even in the first 60 days of the new year. So what I'm going to do is, is share this chart with you real quick, just to give you an idea of how not great <laughs> things are right now for each of these. So this is year to date. So January 1 to today, which is February 24th. Yeah, Costco down 9.6%. Uh, I can't really see what percentage this is. So it ain't good um, for, for Dollar General, somewhere between 6 to 9% uh, down. Uh, let's just call it 7%. And then you've got Walmart down 7%. None of these are great. Um, however, sometimes it makes sense to buy low, sell high, right? Um, so we'll, we'll see. We don't know how low, how low this is going to fall. So I, I'm not a fan of catching what we call falling knives, where I'm just going to just keep buying and keep losing money. Um, but again, which one do we think is going to do best and why do we think so? So what, before getting into that, I do want to show you this. Starting March 17th, which was of last year, which was the bottom, that's when things started to kind of come back, you can see the strength of these companies. You have Dollar General, the clear winner from the pandemic out of the three, at 35% gain. You've got both Costco and Walmart neck and neck at about 22% each, Um gain from the, the bottom of the pandemic through the end of the year. So when you allow it to have time, which again, this was only 60 days. So year to date isn't all that impressive. I'm not overly concerned there. But during the pandemic, all three of these had done well. And they have a history. It, it, you know, I can go to two years. Things were, were up. Let's see if it's going to let me do. Yeah. So two years, all of them were up. Walmart at the bottom in this case. If I go to five years, all of them are going to be up again. You got Dollar General up at 165, 127 for Costco, and 103 for Walmart. All really, really good. But again, the economy has changed since then. Competition has changed. You got Amazon still out there, right? You got all types of different competitors. And again, the market has really changed. I don't think had this not been a pandemic year last year, or even right now, it's still a pandemic. Um, even right now, I don't think any, you wouldn't have heard me really talk about any of those stocks. They're still dependable, right? But not somewhere where I'm like, I need to put my money here. I know I'm going to grow my money significantly here. Those weren't names I would have mentioned 
in 2019 or any point in, in life, really, up until when things hit the fan. All right, so let's get into it. So you got Costco. Costco, I've talked about a lot just because it's, number one, it's a fun word for me to say. Um, but Charlie Munger actually came out today and said how he really enjoys the business and how they think they are, how he thinks Costco is competing very well against Amazon. Now, the interesting thing there is that Charlie Munger is like uh, Warren Buffett's Robin Batman guy. There's his sidekick, if you will. Um, one of the most legendary investors in the world ever. The thing is, they actually sold all of their shares of Costco like last year, the end of last year, before they declared that dividend, that special dividend, which to me is is really puzzling, especially to come out and say, I really like Costco. Well, why don't you keep your money in it? So that's that to me, that's puzzling. However, Costco hit a saturation point in the US, which means that you can only have but so many warehouse superstores within within a certain area. Because you can't go like a Dollar General, you can't put one in every neighborhood and have people just you know, like McDonald's and just have them on every corner. Can't do that. It's too big for that. And you're buying things in bulk. So that 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 business model doesn't actually work. However, the good thing for Costco, two, well, really three stats. Number one, they are growing and pushing stores overseas. They're, they get 80% of their renewals or 80% 80, 80 of the time they retain their customers for renewals. That's where they make their money from their memberships, not necessarily the selling of the stuff that you get because those margins are so thin between the cost it takes to have it and run the building and the, the cost that you, the customer, actually pays. In the U.S., it's 90%, which is a very, very good sign that people who are for Costco, you got your Costco card, you're probably not letting it go, which is a good thing for Costco. That is can't really say guarantee, but that's a recurring revenue source. You know they're going to be there, and they held you down during the pandemic. That is very, very good, and it's something that Dollar General does not have. They don't really have a membership program. Walmart does, Walmart Plus, but it hasn't done what most people expected it to do. It's actually underperforming compared to what people expected. So that's Costco. Dollar General also growing very aggressively. I mean, they've, they've had a boom in stores the last, I would say, five years. Uh, I'm from Tulsa, Oklahoma. I think they got too many Dollar Generals. We need an actual grocery store, but that's local talk. Y'all from Tulsa, y'all know what I'm, what I'm talking about there. Um, but they do extremely well in times like this, pandemic times where you need quick, easy, cheap stuff. You can go to a Dollar General, and again, they can plug and play in so many small areas that Walmart and Costco cannot do. As you saw in the five-year chart, they were up 135% or whatever it was over the past five years. They were the winner of the pandemic sweepstakes, if you will, uh, in terms of, of growth of 35% last year. So it's something you got to look at. If they've been winning for the past five years, why would that change this year? And then you've got Walmart. Walmart is a more established player. They are looking to really compete with Amazon, but I don't really think that Walmart has so much space to grow. Yes, they can grow their online sales. I think that's the, the biggest avenue for them, but I think they're ceiling. I think they're really close to whatever ceiling they have. I think they're almost there. Um, it's the switching cost from Walmart to an Amazon, I think is relatively low. If I have Amazon Prime, which I do, and I can go to a Walmart, which I don't do, but I could if I wanted to, why have both of those? I get way more benefits from, from a Costco where you can go in, you feel special, you got a lot of stuff, it's cleaner, um, and I can get stuff in bulk. That's one advantage for Costco. And then if I have Amazon, I get a membership for Amazon. I get all of these benefits outside of just one or two day shipping or curbside pickup. So I think the advantages go towards Amazon, which is not in this conversation, or Costco. Um, so comparatively for the three, I would rank them in terms of what I would expect to happen the rest of this year and just I'm not going to really predict more than two years or so. I would say for the rest of this year, especially for the next six months, I think it's going the, the winner is going to be, again, Dollar General for now, Costco, and then Walmart. Costco and Walmart are going to be relatively close because it's a similar business. I think Costco is a little more healthy financially. Um, just from the, from the outside looking in, they pay the special dividend. They pay their employees a lot more. Those are great signs for me. And to me, that means a lot for me as an investor because I already know they make money, right? That's... We already saw that they're, the money that they make or they made um, last year were very, very close. So then it comes down to how I feel as an investor. I always tell you guys, don't let your, your emotions do math. Well, the math was the same. 
last year. They made almost the exact same amount of money. So now I can make that determination to see which is which. So what I do know is, again, I can't say for a fact because we don't know yet, but what we do know is 90% of the time, those who sign up for Costco, pandemic or not, when things return to normal, they still going to be paying that fee. Costco still going to get paid. That's what we know. That's something that we can somewhat bank on. So that's number one. But I can also bank on the fact that because of the way the Dollar General has grown over the last few years, not just last year, and the positions that they can put themselves in where it can easily just fit a store there, you know, put a store up in like 10 days, I'm, I'm making the number up, that it's going to be easier to still see a lot of growth from Dollar General. So for me, if I had to pick today, and again, I do own all three. I don't think I mentioned that. I've got shares in Dollar General. Um, very little, but I got shares in Dollar General. I clearly have shares in Costco. And I've been telling you, I've had Walmart for the longest. But if I had to invest my money right now, I can only pick one. I'm going to go with Dollar General. If I got some extra money, I might go with Costco. I'm probably not going to look into Walmart as much. I just don't see it as being a, a star for this year. Now, the other thing I'm going to add is based on what we've seen so far, which is not a lot of data to go on in 2021, I'm not entirely sure that any of these companies are going to be near the top unless something happens with the virus, which I pray it does not. I just want this thing to be over, like I'm sure you do too. However, I don't, I'm not sure. Like, remember, when we talked about defensive stocks and we talked about these stocks particularly, they do very well when the economy isn't doing well, which, you know, that's a mixed bag right now. When people are, are fearful, pandemics, stuff like that, hurricanes, natural disasters, Texas, um, all of those things, that's when these stocks do extremely well. Well, as we hope that things start to taper off, more people take the vaccine, things start to calm down, you really don't expect these companies to do well or as well as they did in the past. So I wouldn't expect another 33% gain. I would probably see whatever their average is. So that's what you want to pay attention to. So those are my thoughts. Let me know if you had to pick one, just one. You can't say all. Don't do that. Don't be that person. Even though I do own them all, we're talking about which, what would I, which one would I pick today? If I had to pick one right now, only one, which would you pick? Let me know in the comments what you think. If you have any other stocks or things you want me to cover, let me know. I do have a list from some of the other comments we've covered previously. Um, or yeah, the comments that you guys have left previously, I keep a list of those. I want to try to cover those as well. All right, that's it for me. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.